what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shamika if you are new and if you're joining us for the first time make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button click the bell so you can be notified every time I post and make sure you leave a comment down below so it's the start of another weekly vlog weekly vlog weekly 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 vlog weekly vlog it's the start of another weekly vlog and I just got done filming a video. I'm about to get dressed because I'm about to run to my grandma's house real quick. I got to do something for my cousin. I was telling y'all this in the last vlog. I got to do something for my cousin. So I'm going to go up over there real quick. Do what I need to do. Come back home. And I don't know what else I'm doing today. I got to edit, of course. Um, I filmed a video. I just got done filming a video. So you know what I'm looking at. Zun up. I love filming days. So um, I'm so happy that my wig still look pretty decent, y'all. I thought I was going to have to take her off. But she's still looking kind of good, so we ain't mad at that. I put on this cute top to film, but I'm about to take it off. I literally had to get my double-sided tape and everything out, but I'm about to take this top off and I'm about to put on just some regular clothes to go to my grandma's house. My makeup all I did, but I ain't really doing nothing today. I just wanted to... um get like this for the video i actually i'm kind of low-key mad because i was supposed to film a chit chat get ready with me life update video but i didn't even think about it until i was like pretty much done with my makeup so i was just like uh damn i messed up that's how i felt like i messed up i should have um filmed my video but it is what it is. I'm trying to see what I'm going to throw on because I ain't going, like, it ain't that type of party. So, I ain't really trying to be all over cute. My face already be down. So, I ain't really trying to, like, you know, and then it's that time when I munch y'all. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. That's all I got to say about that. It's just Lord Jesus. Like, God, periods are so ghetto. So ghetto. I absolutely don't know what I want to wear. I know I want to wear jeans. I didn't put no lotion on today. I got to put lotion on. I guess I'm going to just wear these jeans. So yeah, just some regular blue jeans. Denim jeans. And I'm trying to see what top. These are just like on my... I guess I'm going to just do my Pink Panther. I really didn't want to put this on because I got on a full face of makeup. And I don't like... I don't want to have to pull it over my head. I could do this though. The flannel. Yeah, I'm probably just going to do my flannel. And I'm going to throw on this um black tank top that I had on earlier. Before I actually start filming. So, I'm about to get dressed and I'll be back. This is what I got on. I just put on these Hollister jeans I got so long ago. Hollister flannel. And my um, shoes from Amazon. I'm not like a real big sneaker girl. So I love these little Amazon sneakers. Just so, just so. I got black and I got white. But I think my white a little bit too small. So I only wear my black. Well, yeah. But baby, we be down though. We be down though. So... I'm about to pack my bag. I need to take um my laptop. I need to take my laptop and I need to take my camera. I'm going to try to get some vlog footage. I don't know if y'all ever... Well, y'all seen my grandma on Thanksgiving, but it's a lot of people there. It's just going to be me and her today. So, yeah, I got to spray some perfume too. Let's see. I'm going to take my Louboutin bag because... My Kurt Geiger bag is too small, and like I said, I got to take my laptop, so. Take this bag. This bag got a lot of stuff in here. All right, y'all, I'm going to see y'all when I get up in the car. All right, y'all, we in the car. I'm on the way. I'm always late, y'all. My grandma just called me like, what is she like, child? So I was going to be out at 4 o'clock. But I had to film that video. Then Quiz want to kick it for a second. So, 
Yeah, but I'm on my way now. But I want to come talk to y'all. My next car, the next time I go car shopping, y'all, I gotta get a car that, um, what's that called? That has like a compatible dashboard for vlogging because this Mercedes, it does not have a good dashboard for vlogging because I still have a little screen in my car. Like the newer Mercedes, they don't really have a screen, I believe. I think like the whole thing is digital. So that would be dope. If I get another Mercedes, I need a newer. Obviously, it would be newer, but I need to make sure that the dashboard is flat. I'm on my next car. I'm already, you know, manifestation, honey. I be speaking things into existence. So something that I speak into existence is my next vehicle. And I don't know if I want a Range, a Audi, or another Mercedes. I know I want a truck. I want a bigger truck though next time. I actually manifested that. I didn't come on here to talk to y'all about this, but <laughs> since we talk about it, oh my God, I left my retainer at home. Fuck my life. But I cannot go back upstairs, y'all, because uh, I'm already late, like I said. And then, I'm going to sit y'all down. I manifested this car. Let me let me get this out because I'm my man. I manifested this vehicle. Um, I was telling everybody when these first came out, but it wasn't actually this car that I wanted specifically. I was just saying that my next car after the car I had, I had a 2020 Chevy Cruze. I was saying that after that vehicle, I was going to get a Benz. I just kept saying I was going to get a Benz. Kept saying I was going to get a Benz, and it ended up happening. I think like two years of me saying that I end up getting this car and when I got this car and I posted it on Instagram because to be honest it's not like a super new updated car my car is a 2017 so it's not even that new and I got it in 2020 so it was kind of old when I got it but when I posted it on Instagram so many people was like texting me and congratulating me because I manifested this and everybody who like really knew me even if it was like guys I had dated back in the day they'll like message me or text me or something like it was crazy everybody was acting like I got, you know, but I guess, I don't know, it was because I manifested it. Like, if you knew me, you knew that I had been saying that old friends, anybody who knew me knew that I had been saying I was going to get me a Benz. And so I actually did it. So I want to manifest my next car. Love this car. Great car. But, you know, I always want to move on up in the world. I ain't the Jeffersons, but I want to move on up. You feel me? <laughs> But I wanted to come on here and have some girl talk with y'all. I'm going to eventually have to sit y'all down because I'm going to get on the expressway, I believe. But I wanted to come on here and have some girl talk real quick because, y'all, I see, I see so much stuff, you know. And when I speak, whether it's a, whether it's one of my speaking videos, my Shamika Speaks videos, or it's me just speaking to y'all up in the vlogs, I'm never, you know, telling nobody what to do or how to live their life because I am far from perfect, like... I am far from perfect. I am not nowhere near I want to be. I'm not who I want to be. But I just be seeing some stuff and I just be like, what's going on? Like, the women, the women in the world, we crazy. Like, women are really crazy. We make some really bad people. People make really bad decisions. But sometimes I think women specifically, we make really bad decisions um, surrounding men. Like, we will let a man come into our life and be our downfall. Many times, so many times, we will ruin everything we got behind a man. We will ruin everything we have. And I just think that it's sad to see. It's so sad to see. Like, I'm older now. Like, I've been through some things. And so, I'm, I'm at an age now where I'm starting to witness. And, you know, just... I think I'm I'm kind of like at an age now where I've really experienced being a woman and what a woman means and entails and I think I'm still at the beginning of that you know I haven't experienced everything that it means to be a woman you know I haven't been through everything I'm not married um I don't have any children so it's still things that I I need to experience when it comes to being a woman but I feel like I've experienced enough to have opinions in, in certain things because I have been through certain things, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, I just feel like as a woman, you know, I see other women my age, my peers, and I just see some of the things that they be doing and taking themselves through behind men and it just be like, 
man, a woman would really destroy herself behind a man. A woman will not reach her highest potential and who she's meant to be in this world behind a man. A woman will ruin her legacy behind a man. You know, it's just, it's crazy to see. And I know certain factors happening, like, you know, you have children by a man or you get married to a man. And so sometimes those things can, you know, kind of, you know, not have us do what's in the best interest of us. You know, we you kind of will put what's best for you on the back burner because... You know, certain things have happened in life. You've had a child, you have deeper connections. It's deeper connections, so I get it. But at the same time, I just think that we give so much for these men, you guys. You know, we give so much for these men. And I've given a, a lot for a man or done a lot, I would say. You know, I haven't been stupid, flat out dumb, ridiculous about a man. I've never let a man consistently cheat on me i never been in a situation like that and that's not to say that i never will be i don't know what this world has to offer me but i think i wouldn't handle certain things how a lot of women handle things and i think i wouldn't let certain things change me certain experiences change me like i get it things happen but i think i have too much I'm try, I don't know how to say this y'all because as y'all can see I really don't know how to get out what I'm trying to say but it's because I'm trying not to talk down on nobody because that's the last thing I'm trying to do I can't talk down on nobody I didn't did my fair share of stuff been in my fair share, fair share of situations like I didn't been you know I ain't perfect but it's just like I don't know I just think I think sometimes we as women we just don't know when to let go and I get it, you know, when I say that, I get it because I think I've been in relationships or situations when I didn't know when to let go and something really bad had to happen for me to walk away from the situation. So I get it, you know, but I just think like how many large, big, bad things are you going to allow to happen before you say like enough is enough, you know, I'm not going to go for this you know i'm gonna remove myself from the situation i don't know because then you know go back to the children and maybe it's a legal commitment and things like that things that i ain't got no nothing about so that's what i'm saying i don't it's not for me to talk down on nobody or judge nobody it's just i just want to see us women do better i want to see us women do better that's all and that starts with like i'm always preaching go to therapy women i think sometimes y'all get in therapy and stuff and y'all just be playing y'all just be i don't know because if you was really in therapy you wouldn't be doing the things that you're doing would you you know like therapy I, through therapy we're supposed to see improvement and growth and it's like if i can look at your life decisions over a course of a couple of years and you saying you've been in therapy what you paying them for because if it take that long, like, what you even going for? You you choosing what you want to do daily regardless of what y'all talking about in therapy. So, why you keep wasting your money on these services and wasting that therapist's time? That's how I feel. But I don't know, y'all. You know, I like I said, I don't want to be too judgmental. I don't want to kick off the vlog, you know, on that type of time. But I just wanted to come and express my thoughts. I've been waiting to talk to y'all about that because I have, I know I have some more older grown grown subscribers like women who have children and have been married and have been divorced and have you know children by different men i have some of y'all and i love talking to y'all because you know i only know but so much like i've said so y'all could check me down in the comments to let me know if i'm speaking out of place or out of turn or you know because i know some things it's just like you won't understand until you've been in them there are certain situations in life like that you know and People can try to say what they would do or how it would be or how it should go, but it's kind of hard to say when you've never been in that situation. So, check me when I'm wrong. But let me know when I'm right, though. Let me know when I'm right. Ain't no wrong with that either. But I'm about to get off in here and talk to y'all when I get to my grandma's house. Because this, it ain't even no traffic, but this is like a, um, this is not a regular expressway. I feel like I'm on a highway on the road driving to Florida. So, I got to focus, baby. <laughs> And wash me over until my will runs dry Send all your sins all over me, babe Me, babe
I just took my whitening strips out, y'all. I'm back home from my grandma's house, as y'all can tell. I know I never said nothing, but I had such a good time spending time with her. Um, yeah, I'm about to watch. Um, what's the show called? Me and Quiz been watching a show on Netflix. Um, the Last Kingdom. I'm about to watch The Last Kingdom, and then yeah, we're gonna get some rest. The wig is ready to come off. She shall be coming off tomorrow, I believe. I shall be taking her off. I really want to give me some braids done, but that's walk and talk, girls. That's walk and talk. I really want to give me some braids done, but um, yeah, I remember the African lady just did my braids, and I ain't taking them braids down. Them braids. <laughs> Them braids is going to stay up. You hear me? I am not taking those braids down until they are literally falling off the bone. Because for the pain that I had to endure to get them braids, I'd be crazy to take them down anytime soon. So the braids going to be in my hair for a while. So that means I can't get the hairstyle I really want until I take those down. So it's going to be a while. Because I plan to use these braids and wear these braids until I can't wear them no more. So that means I'm going to be rotating wigs for a while and I don't know what wig I'm ready to put into rotation I want to wear I have two wigs that I really really do want to wear but I'm cleaning I'm, I'm moving myself out the bathroom back into the beauty room FYI but um I have two wigs that I really want to wear but I, I want the weather to be warmer before I wear both of them so I don't know we probably about to go back to the bang gang because it's so easy to just throw the bang on the bang is a bang you know so yeah, probably just gonna end up doing that. Yeah, rocking out until I'm ready to take out my braids, which like I said, is going to be a minute. What's up y'all? So it's a new day and I am, I just got out the tub, just lotioned up and everything. Y'all, I need to go to Target. I need to re-up on literally everything. I need more toner. I don't need more cleanser. I need more toner and I need um, more vitamin C oil. I'm all out of that little sample that I got from my maintenance vlog. And I have one that I wanna try out. It's at Sephora. So I think I'm gonna try out the sample package first. I think it might come with a toner. I gotta look into it, but I'm probably just gonna get that. I literally only have enough toner for one more day. So I really do need to get some because I really do see the benefits of using toner. My skin complexion is a bit more even. It's going through some things though. I won't even lie to y'all. Like, even though my skin is even, the skin tone is even, like, my skin has been breaking out so bad. Like, so many little breakouts have been just popping up. So much discoloration, like little dark marks and stuff. I don't know. I am on my cycle, so I'm hoping that it goes away once I go off. Some of it go away, because I don't know what my skin is going through. I just, I don't know. But I'm going to try to keep a regimen going. Just, you know just to do my part but the skin ain't doing what it needs to do i have been drinking a lot of pop lately though but again I'm on, I'm on my cycle and when i'm on my cycle i crave pop and i crave chocolate so i've been eating a lot of chocolate and i've been drinking a lot of pop so that's probably why but i'm almost off i should be off soon so i'll be getting back to my water and just i gotta get some new products because the skin not giving what she's supposed to give honey but i also took my wig off last night and i washed my hair in the shower so even though i do be having these braids in for a long time y'all don't be thinking i just be leaving my braids all smelly and dirty up under my wigs i wash my braids pretty much every time i take a wig off i'll wash the braids unless it's like i'm taking the wig off and putting another one right back on then i might not have time to wash it but for the most part i do but i just want to show y'all that i'm going to be putting this peppermint oil on my braids i got this as well as um wild hair growth i think it's called i think it's called wild hair growth something like that it really make your hair grow it got a real distinct smell i think it's called wild hair, wild hair grow i don't know but i alternate between the two between the peppermint oil and that one they pretty much smell the same to be honest like this smells like that but it's more of a peppy pepperminty smell so this is really good for it helps stimulate hair growth reduces skin inflammation and promotes the growth of nails it's really good for a itchy scalp um one of my subscribers keisha told me about this and it has been working so right after i wash my hair i like to take the peppermint oil and just go through my braids 
Y'all know, we was talking about the braids last night. These are the braids that the Africans did on me. Yeah, okay. Not too long ago. I, I was gonna come out. My boyfriend is the best coffee maker, y'all. No, he is the best drink maker. Like, I cook, and his duty is to do the drinks. So, he make, like, all the coffee, any alcoholic beverages that we have, for the most part, he does them. Because I feel like when it comes to making drinks... You have to be really patient, and I'm not that patient. I'm working on it, but I'm not there yet. It's like, even when I be cooking sometimes, I be telling myself, like, Shmika, slow down. Slow down. The food be good, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm just always in a rush. I just always feel like everything needs to be done so fast. So, I think that's why I'm not so good at making drinks. Because I feel like you need to take your time when it comes to making drinks. My mom is in Cabo, but she should be. I don't know where she at. She um, she was going to Cabo today. She said her cousin was going to be to pick her up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. Their flight was like at 7 something, I think. I think. I don't remember. I don't know the exact time of the flight. But I know it was an earlier flight. And um, I, I told her I'd text her to see if she made it. And I did, but she ain't respond. But my message did deliver, so I called my sister to see if she um, heard from my mom. She said the last time she talked to her, she was in the airport. So I need my mom to hit me back up and let me know she made it. She said the flight was only like five hours, so it's way past 7 o'clock. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now, so yeah. But this is how I'm looking. I actually have to go to Target later on today. So I don't know what I'm about to do to my hair. I have to do an order pickup that I put. I don't know why the order pickup was so slow yesterday. Y'all, I ordered one thing. I ordered Vicks Vapor. Oh, I got to start my teeth whitening journey today too. I be having like, this is why people be wondering like why I don't be calling and stuff. How I should call them and stuff. It's just like, y'all, I be so busy in my mind it'd be so many things going on in my head that i have to do and i'd be forgetting and it's just like the days just go by so fast life is crazy man but anyway i need to start this journey today because i finished this i finished the first set of teeth whitening y'all filmed it filmed all four days because this was only four treatments filmed all four treatments no i only filmed two days of the treatments and when i went to do the third day i freaking deleted all my footage so you guys won't even see the progress i mean you'll see it if you're just like looking at my teeth while i'm talking see them getting whiter but i have no footage for that one so i'm going to do this one which is 20 treatments so this is 20 days worth of treatments and i'm going to film the whole 20 days for you all and when i start i need to be like actually ready to do it because um i cannot lose the footage or i cannot delete the footage but um yeah these are only 30 minutes so the first the, the other set was an hour i had to wear them for an hour each day this set is only for 30 minutes each day thank the lord because it's kind of i don't know i don't like wearing them. it's not uncomfortable i just would rather not have to do it but definitely do see the results definitely see the results so i'm excited to see what it's gonna be like with the 20 day treatment so i didn't forget about y'all if i told y'all that the video was gonna be out soon or something like that my apologies it really was going to be out soon i just accidentally deleted the footage so yeah yeah i don't even remember what i was saying y'all i'm just sitting here running my mouth oh i have to go to target and i don't know what i want to put on my head because i just made a video talking about going outside and dressing appropriately so normally i will go with this on my head and probably put like a hood over my head just so you can't really see because I'm just doing an order pickup. But I also have to go to the grocery store to get a bundle of spinach because I'm making stuffed chicken tonight. So it's like I do actually have to get out the car. So I don't know what I'm about to put on my head. I need to kind of invest in like some head gear, some appropriate headwear for outside. And ultimately, I really just want to do something different to my hair, y'all. I was telling Quez last night like... I am so over the freaking frontals. Like, I'm so over the wigs. I do not want to keep wearing wigs. Like, when I get in my 30s, y'all, early 30s for sure, literally by 35, I promise you I'm only going to be wearing my natural hair. That's not to say that I will never wear a wig again because I probably will for special occasions like my birthday or, you know, whatever the case may be. But I promise you, after, um... 
by the time I'm 35, I'm going to be fully transitioned from wigs. Like, you will not catch me wearing a wig. I just, I'm over it now, so I don't even think it's going, I'm going to even wait to 35. I'll probably be up out of the wig game by 30, for real, for real, but... I'm just over it. And I don't want to get micro links again because I feel like micro links are a lot of maintenance. So I don't know what I want to get. I want to try tape ins, but who wants that glue in their hair? Not me. So I don't know, y'all. I think clip ins might be the way to go. I used to wear clip ins a lot back in college when I couldn't really, you know, afford to have wigs and stuff like that. So I used to even make my own clip ins. So I think I'm going to try to dibble into the clip ins for the summer or something because putting that glue on my head, child, that just ain't, it's not giving what it's supposed to. It's so irritated. It irritates my scalp really bad. And overall, it's just not healthy for you. It is not, that is not healthy. You cannot tell me that. That's healthy to keep putting that glue on your head and that holding spray and just slapping that stuff on your scalp. Like, it, it's not healthy. So, I think this summer I'm going to probably look into some clip-ins. If I do, I might try tape-ins. I'm not going to say I won't. I might try tape-ins, but I don't know. And I really want to get back at Al. Chad, that's the man who did my my eye tips. Anyway, I want to get back in his chair, y'all. He helped my hair grow so much. Like, he truly has growing hands. And I don't know how much my hair is going to have grown by the time I took these braids out. Because y'all know before I was going to get my ends cut, my hair was like right here. Was it not? Or was it not? It was literally like right here. Once that man clipped my ends, y'all, my hair is like, no, I'm probably, it probably was like right here. Let me not, let me not, it was like right here. <laughs> it was like right here. It was on my shoulder, for real. If you tilt your head to the side, my hair was still like on my shoulder. So, it was on my shoulder. Now, my hair is like, that's a big difference. So hopefully it's back right here and I'll probably order me some clip-ins and do clip-ins or something because child, the wigs is not doing what they're supposed to. They honestly not. I actually have a meeting on Wednesday and I have to show my face for work and I don't know how I'm going to do my hair because I done took my wig down. So child, pray for me. New hair, who this? Hmm. Hmm. My man was talking about me earlier, y'all. He was talking about the BDBs in the back of my head, so I couldn't have it. I had to get myself together real quick. And it's giving scalpy on it. Is it or is it not? Like, I can't believe I installed this by myself because it's giving very much scalp. Very much scalp. I'm not sure right here. I think that's better. So, we're going something to eat for lunch. He got Subway. I got tacos. I found this taco place around the house or by the house. And they got the burrito tacos. And I've been wanting to try the burrito tacos for so long. I hope I'm saying that right. For so long, but I never got around to it. So, this little spot around here had him in. We really don't eat out that much, but it's a lot of restaurants around here we just haven't been to. You want to see too. So I got, I got two chicken and one beef. So I guess these are my three, and then I could just dip it in here if I want. For seventeen dollars, goddamn, that's all you get. Right? Yeah. Daddy is all I get. <laughs> Let me try one. You don't, you don't know what these are, do you? Mm -hmm. He don't got social media, so he, I knew he ain't know. But it's like these tacos, they came out probably like a year ago. They probably been out for a long time, but they became real popular like a year ago. Everybody was going crazy over them. And I wanted to try them, but I never got around to it. I'm trying to see which one I want to eat. I don't know if it's steak. Beef or chicken? I mean, yeah, beef or chicken. All right, so this one we give it. And then dip it in there. Good. That's oh, chicken. Mm-hmm. 
Let me go to the back then. Thank you. And they gave me green sauce. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, sauce really good though. I should go ahead and keep dipping. Mm-hmm. Wanna taste it? Mm -mm. This one is a chicken one. It's good. I got one chicken. And then I got two shredded beef. Mm-hmm. It's good. I can tell I'm gonna be full. The dip before I go. Dip, baby, dip. Dip, baby, dip. Mmm. They're good, y'all. If y'all haven't tried them, go get them. I don't know if it's if you pronounce it Berea, but it's spelled B I R A. I ain't got some of them. Your girl is pooped. I am so tired. So tired. But I'm getting ready. I'm so tired. Ooh, look at me. I'm so tired. But I'm getting ready. Um, y'all hear this man coughing? Still sick, y'all. Still sick. I just washed my hands too. So. But yeah, I'm getting ready to go to my mom's house. I'm about to go check on my siblings because. Like I was telling y'all, she was out of town. And so I have my brothers there. They're big boys, so they're, um, hold on, my brothers, 18 and 15? 18 and 15, so they're not little kids. they home by themselves, but I'm going to still go over here and just pop up and make sure everything is everything. So, um, yeah. I was just asleep. That's why I got on camera looking so sleepy. I was just asleep. I have uh, took me a little nappy nap. I didn't even realize I was going to sleep. That's how sleepy I was. Them be the best naps though. When you don't even like realize that you're taking a nap. And so you wake up and you be like, ooh, I was just knocked out. It was one of those. So I'm just trying to fix this hump in my head real fast. For me being asleep. I wasn't. I normally wouldn't do something like this. Just for where I'm going. But. I'm going to fix it. Because you never know. You know. You never know what the. What the streets may be. Talking about once you get in them. You know. So yeah. Oh child. They been working me. Yeah they been working me at work. But we going to talk more about it. In my um. I'm filming a chit chat, get ready with me this weekend, so we're gonna talk about it. But baby, they've been working me. I'm so tired. Okay, that's good enough. I just wanted to get that little hump, my lovely lady. Let's get that out my hair real quick. Mm hmm. This wig looks so good, like. It's really even Scapiana. Really is. And this wig is over a year old. So this is from I had launched the hair collection. Yeah, I didn't even keep it for a year. Shaking my head. I gotta do better. But almost a year ago I had launched the hair collection and I was wearing the hair before I tested it out. And this is some of my hair. All the hair that I would be wearing pretty much be from my hairline. Because I had a couple wigs left. I had like five wigs left. And um, yeah, I'd just be wearing them when I get my hair done. So I got all of them in rotation. And you know, you would think that I would be like mad or whatever. Because I got all these wigs. But I don't got a lot. I probably got like three left. Three brand new wigs that I never touched. Yeah, I think like three. But you would think that I would be mad, right? Because like that's inventory, so that means that's money, which it is. It's like 
probably a thousand dollars worth of wigs, but I ain't mad because okay now I'm not about to play. Where is now remember I did I just what happened to my, my lip gloss, my lip balm. That's why I hate taking stuff out of its place because I don't remember to put it back and then it's not there when I need it. I really hate that. That's why I'm, I'm a real stickler for like putting stuff back where it goes because if I don't put something back where it goes, then I'm not going to know where it's at when I need it. <laughs> so Chris found my lip balm for me, thank the heavens, because I was about to lose my mind. But I'm not about to... Uh, I'm also looking for my retainer and I don't know what I said either. I know it's somewhere in the house though, for, for sure. My retainer is in the crib, so I'm not even about to stress myself looking for it because I know it's here. I'm about to put some lotion on my hands and we get to go. We ate, um, oh, I showed y'all what we ate earlier. I'm supposed to cook tacos though when we get back home, so. Hopefully we get back at a decent time so I can make them hot wings. We can eat and call it one. I love when I make like little quick meals like tacos or hot wings. Just throw that stuff in the air fryer. Take 30 minutes, 45 max. And then that is served. So yeah, y'all. I need to give me so much stuff, y'all. I need to get, like, I got a whole, like, to-do list of stuff that I need to get. I need to give me some, um, a new robe from Target I need. I need a new robe. Um, new skincare products. I need new skincare. I'm all out of toner. I'm all out of my vitamin C serum. So, I need both of those. And I also need... I want to get a mask so I can start doing me a mask at least once a week or something just to help with my skin because I'm not feeling how my skin been looking. But I need to actually like look into this stuff because I want to get some good products. Like I need to do my research. So I did see Natasha on YouTube. I was watching her vlog and she uses a lot of the Keys Beauty skincare products and they're pretty affordable everything is between like 20 and 40 dollars each product so not too bad i'll probably spend like a hundred dollars if i get all three or they have like a little um gift set which i'm probably gonna end up getting if i go with them where you can test out multiple different products you'll have like the travel size which i think i want to do that first i want to try something out before i buy the full size because yeah i just need to make sure but the keys beauty is by alicia keys y'all remember she um Alicia Keys came out with a skincare line and all that. So, it's so that old too. So, I don't know. I'm going to do some more research on it. But then again, it's this um, little set at Sephora that I saw that I wanted. When I look at other content creators, um, with their skincare, they be using so much stuff, y'all. I be like, oh my God, how y'all put all that on your, on your face? But, yeah. I don't need to, as much as they be using. Like, I don't need to OD it, but I do need to get some more products. I need to re-up, and I want to try something new because that soap and glory, it worked good on my skin. But with a toner, I love the toner. So, if I really can't find another toner, I may just end up getting a soap and glory toner. But, yeah, I really kind of want to get some decent quality stuff and just really get back into my skincare so I can have a nice regimen that I can actually see working because the stuff I had was working, but I don't know, I don't know. It could just be a temporary thing due to my cycle and other factors, but I need to clean my glasses. But yeah, I'm about to jet, y'all. So y'all know I've been complaining about my skin. So I wanna do some, a little mask. I got this from my mom's house. I think she got this from Target or somewhere. I got this from her house though. Um, damn, see, I knew it was a type of mask that you gotta put on with a brush or something. I didn't want that. I wanted like an actual mask. This this is what I get for taking something that was never mine. <laughs> but I'm gonna um, try to see if I can find a brush or something that I have. I have this little brush. But I don't think this will do a good enough job. Cause it's like, it's not a, it's a mask, but it ain't. Yeah, 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. It's um, I'm trying to show it to y'all. <laughs> if I could get it open. Here we go. This what she giving. So it's this type of mask. And I don't have a brush, but I'm gonna just try to use the brush that I got. Yeah, it ain't gonna pick it up, y'all. This what I get for get touching stuff and doing stuff that I ain't got no business touching and doing. Cause I literally just took this off my mama kitchen table. I saw it there, I said, ooh, this for me. <laughs> and I literally took it. So I hope when she get back from Cabo, she ain't have plans on using it, baby. Cause it's gone. It say, put this on your face and let it dry for five to 10 minutes. I have my whitening strips on. This brush is just such, it's not, it's not, it's not doing it. The brush ain't doing it. I need to get an actual face mask brush. Okay. So now that I finally got the mask on, it say let it dry for five to 10 minutes. So at 10, 12, I'll take it out, my birthday. And then it say rinse off and reveal your gorgeous, gorgeous complexion. Formulated without parabens, SLS, and silicones. It is for dry skin. It is a fragrance-free hydrating cream mask with hyaluronic acid to hydrate. All right, well, I'm going to go let this get all tight. <laughs> I'm going to let this get firm. I probably should have waited till the weekend to do it when I'm going to actually put some makeup on, but I don't know. My skin been looking so bad lately, so let's hope that it do something. I'm about to go um, clean my brush and we'll be back to wash this off together. What's up, y'all? So, whoo, what a day. I just got off of work. I'm going to give y'all a life update video. Um, It'll be after, will it be after this? Yeah, it'll be after this go up. I'm going to be posting a life update video. Cause child, I need to update y'all on some things. I'm freaking starving. It's 4 o'clock. I have not eaten anything today. I just got off of work. I'm about to go pick up. Y'all, I just got, I got so much to tell y'all. That's not even in the light vlog. I have to go pick up um an order that I placed at Menards. I literally left exactly at 4 o'clock because, I mean, I don't never say... I never stay anyway past the start time. I mean, past the time I'm supposed to get off. But I could because I noticed that they need my help and stuff like that. I just don't. Because I be tired. Like, I be ready to go. But that's a whole other conversation for another day. I left exactly at 4 o'clock today. And, um, yeah, I'm about to go run some errands. It's so, it's so hot. Like, it's 65 degrees. But it's raining. And it's raining so so much i just cracked that to kind of like let a little air flow in because i don't want to get wet obviously and then i have these windshield wipers that are on my car i need to get my new ones put on i've had new windshield wipers for literally probably over a year now but i haven't gotten them put on because this i don't know mercedes is mercedes it's hard to put the things on so i got to take them to a shop to get them put on so that's a whole nother thing. And I'm just starving. So I'm getting like hangry. You know, I haven't eaten today. So I'm just irritated. But I'm about to go to Menards to pick up this, um, these flies. Like we, I ordered some kits to get these flies out of our house. Like we have a really bad fly problem and I don't know why. But what I think it is, is because of the people who live on our floor, y'all. I don't know. I actually have to... So you can enter my building, like you could take the stairs or you could take the elevator. I prefer to take the stairs these days because it's a house, apartment. It's an apartment on our floor that, um, I don't know. They just have a really bad odor. Like the apartment itself, it just smells so, so bad. I don't know why. I don't, I think it's a dog. I'm 90% I'm sure they have a dog living there. But the smell of the apartment is literally atrocious. Like, it's, it's probably one of the worst smells I ever smelled in my life. And I, I really can't tell what it is. Is this just like the dog is dirty and not being cared for? Or what is the issue? I'm not sure. But um, the smell is horrible. Like, as soon as you get off the elevator, 
as soon as we step out into into our hallway, you can smell it. Like it's just a horrible, foul, disgusting smell. And it's been like that for a while. Probably since, since we moved here, honestly, the smell has been like that. But you can tell it's only coming from one apartment. So that's that. Um, and I guess it's just getting worse because it's getting hotter outside. It's getting warmer. Like I said, it's 65 degrees and we're not sure. Like, I guess because it's getting nicer and everything is so many flies, y'all. Like as of the past two weeks, we literally have so many flies in our apartment. And then we step out into the hallway and it's like a decent amount of flies. And the, the people who house is smelly. They have a dog and so like i said i think it's the dog and you know dogs are attracted i mean flies are attracted to dog feces and urine and stuff like that and i think that's just that's just what's going on the apartment is not being cleaned whoever is living in there they are disgusting like they are so fucking dirty that i know that when they leave they are not getting the security deposit back because the smell is just it's foul it's foul to the point where like i'm telling y'all i don't even like to take the elevator in my apartment no more because to take the elevator means i have to walk past their apartment so i would just rather take the stairs and so that's what i've been doing lately and when you take the stairs you don't really smell it as much but like as you get closer to the apartment you can smell it and then when the man the man came in to fix our toilet um earlier this week or last week or whenever he had he was saying that you know what is that smell on this floor and he was like he's gonna put in the um what you call that like he he gonna get somebody to check on the people in that apartment a wellness check he was gonna put in for a wellness check for the people at that apartment because he said to him it smelled like a dead body I don't know what a dead body smell like, so I can't say, but I have heard that um, a dead body is a very distinct, like, disgusting, foul smell. And so if it is a dead body, I honestly wouldn't be surprised. But I've been told Quez a while ago, like, I think it's a dead body because we never see who lives in that apartment. We never see them coming. We never see them going. All we do is hear a dog barking all day. But it, this has been going on for so long. This is the reason I don't think it's a dead body because it's been going on for so long and the dog is all... Well, actually the dog honestly don't bark as much as he used to he used to bark a lot more than he barks these days so maybe i was thinking it wasn't a dead body because the dog is still barking and you know somehow the dog is able to survive if if whoever is in there is dead how is the dog still surviving but now that i think about it the dog don't bark as much so maybe he's slowly dying too how long can dogs go without food or water i don't know but it's some shit going on and it's it's foul so i'm actually probably am going to walk back past oh my god did i leave the wagon in the house i left the wagon in the house but i don't think i'm gonna have to carry that much stuff but i'm gonna walk back past i'm gonna take the elevator when i go back in the house and walk past their door because i'm gonna email um the office and leave a complaint because i believe that's why we're having so many flies like we have so many fucking flies it's out of control I, and my house is not dirty my house is far from dirty like i live very clean so i don't understand why the fuck we got so many flies and it's it's, it's getting to the point where it's pissing me off y'all like i'm so mad i'm not mad but i'm just so irritated and frustrated today all day my energy just been off because for one i hate humidity i hate it being humid and it's been humid and cloudy all day no sunlight and then we got like six flies up in the house it's a fly in every room i'm on my phone i mean on the computer on a zoom meeting a fly you know flying by like what is going on where is these like i'm just so over the flies quiz being there fighting with the flies trying to kill the flies we be laying down taking a nap a fly didn't get on me like what the nah bro i cannot so we ordered 50 dollars worth of fly stuff i ordered some of the um fly stuff for the windows I got like a big 10 inch thing for the living room and then I got two other smaller things to put in um, each room or whatever just to kind of calm it down because mixed with the humidity and the flies and everything and this wig on my head child I'm ready to lose my top so yeah we got to get rid of the flies y'all I can't I can't do that so that's what I'm going to Menards to pick up now I'm going to pick up the fly uh, 
repelling or we ain't getting no repelling but the flat traps or whatever so hopefully that works because i can't i can't take it hopefully that works in addition to the complaint like whenever whoever is in that apartment move out child i know the maintenance people are going to be so like mad and disgusted at what they're going to have to clean up whatever is behind that door i don't even want to be the one to see and i pray for whoever got to go in and fix that situation because it's a fucking mess like ugh, people are so nasty people are really really nasty like people are nasty people are nasty like we are good tenants me and quest we some good tenants y'all when we left our last place our landlord he was a private landlord so he was asking us like man why are you guys leaving you know like is there anything i could do to convince y'all to stay because we some good tenants one thing's for sure two things for certain we ain't never gonna pay our rent late our bills ain't never been paid late our bills have always been paid on the first and if it wasn't paid on the first it wasn't paid past the third that's for sure like that's for sure we're gonna pay our bills on time we're gonna be clean and we're gonna be quiet my man might smoke him a little weed but we so fucking clean that you can't even tell like we don't be with all that rah-rah stuff we may have an argument or two but you know <laughs> so what happens when you're in a relationship with somebody but yeah we um our old landlord was like really really wanting us to stay so I, I say that to say too like that's why i don't be so ready to jump into like i do want to do property investment at some point in my future but i think i will lean more towards flipping houses because i don't want to be a landlord i don't i don't want to be a landlord i don't want nothing that requires me to have to um have relationships with other people if that makes sense that's kind of why i stopped being a makeup artist i don't like being in like the service industry and i know being a landlord isn't necessarily like a service but it kind of is like you know you have to tend to people's needs if something is fixed or broken you have to maintain that and i don't like serving people i just i don't like that i don't like doing a service for somebody <laughs> I don't know. So I never be a landlord, but I will and I do want to get into um investment flipping and properties and all of that stuff. But like holding something and keeping it as a long term investment, I just can't do it unless I hire like somebody outside to do that, you know, like a a leasing company or something like that. But that's just too much for me. I would rather just flip the houses, flip the property and you know, put my money into something else in, in terms of long term so yeah y'all i don't know what's going on but this one said like it got me itching y'all like the wig on my hair is already enough that's got me itching because wigs is just like that like i don't know they just not comfortable so the wig on my hair mixed with this rain mixed with the heat it would be decent if it was like 50 degrees you know it'll be better but it's like 65 degrees and that's kind of hot compared to all of these 30 and 40 degree days we've been having so Mix with the heat, mix with the flies, mix with that smell, mix with them working me like a slave at work. I'm just like, oh, I am over today. Mix with my bathroom being dirty, which I'm cleaning my bathroom today. I already put all of my cleaning products down so they can sit and soak and get in there real good. I'm about to clean my bathroom today and just try to have a relaxing day. I hate the rain. That's one thing that I think about when moving to Florida is, oh my God, it rains there and I hate the rain. Like, I'd rather it snow than to rain. I'd rather it snow than to rain because it's just something about getting wet with my clothes on. I know it sounds, you know, provocative, but y'all know what I mean. Like, getting wet with my clothes on, I do not like that feeling at all. It's a very icky feeling. Makes me feel like I want to go take a shower because I feel dirty, so. That's kind of how I feel right now. That's kind of what I'm going through. But I'm about to go to Menards, pick up this stuff, which that's a whole nother thing, y'all. I did order pickup because I'm lazy like that. And I'm like, okay, I was trying to get the products from Target, but Target wasn't having what I needed. They was trying to give me, like, stuff to spray. And I ain't trying to spray nothing. I'm trying to catch these flies and kill them. So um, I couldn't get it from Target. I just ended up having to get it from menards i looked at home depot too home depot ain't had nothing and it's a lowe's by me but lowe's is too far you know i prefer i prefer lowe's because i used to work at lowe's but they too far so i looked up uh menards that's like another lowe's home improvement type store and they actually had what i was looking for so we're gonna go to menards but the pickup the pickup policy is strange like 
I got an email or whatever, and it was basically saying like, yeah, your orders are ready for pickup, but we didn't pick it out for you. You have to come in the store and pick it out yourself. And I'm just like, okay, like when, what, what the, what the, how is that order pickup then? Like, what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? So hopefully I'm hoping that what I misinterpreted what I read and what they mean is that you can come in and get it from the counter. Cause at the very least, I don't mind doing that. But I hope like hell, I don't got to walk around this store and get my products and stand in line at the register only for them to realize that I like, I hope Menards, I hope they not that, you know, so let's hope they got a better system than that. But Menards is like, they not on par with um, Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was some janky shit. Cause y'all, I don't know where y'all located, but wherever y'all located, y'all probably don't got no Menards for y'all. Unless y'all like in Illinois, Indiana area. But if you ain't in like the Midwest, I don't think y'all have a Menards. So that just goes to show right there how small they are. But yes, y'all. And then in terms of what I'm about to say, E-Baby, I don't even know. I am so hungry. I, have, I can't... I'm going to update y'all on my life update video, but I can't even, like, be thinking about what I'm going to eat because my job is so freaking demanding these days. So, that's just a whole nother thing. But I think I'm going to probably get some Pratillos or something, like a Polish, a deep fried Polish or something, and eat that, I guess. I don't know. I hate being outside in the rain, and that's what's going on right now. I'm stuck outside in this goddamn rain, and I don't have an umbrella. So hopefully when I pull up to Menards, it's not raining like crazy and I could just run in and get what I need to get because I don't have an umbrella, which I never have an umbrella when it's raining ever. Like I never have an umbrella when it's raining. I don't know how that works. I'm just sitting up here thinking about this email that I'm gonna send to my apartment complex. And I think I'm gonna say that I need, I, it needs to be a wellness check as well. Cause I am complaining about the smell, you know, that, that's, that right there is not okay. If I was, if that was my apartment and I was renting it out to somebody and I just came back for whatever reason and I smelled that, like I would be concerned too. Like, you know, we may have to terminate this lease if you can't be cleaner than this. Cause this is ridiculous. But, um, also like, just, are y'all alive? Like I said, I've never seen anybody come or go. The dog don't bark as much as he used to, so he probably dying if he ain't already dead. Like, what's going on? And it's crazy because you would think, like, when you get on the elevator, if you just go to my floor, you would think that that's how the whole building is. But it's not. The other floors, beautiful, clean, spotless, smell regular, good. I mean, maybe not good, but they just smell regular. You know, you ain't like, literally, when we walk past that door, y'all, we have to hold our breath like I don't breathe when I walk past that door like when Quare's son was here he was like what is that like about to die this is a six year old kid you know they could take stuff when I six um you know this is a little kid they can take stuff smelling however you know it'd be really grown people who be disgusted and stuff like that so for him to have been so disgusted by the smell a little kid that tells you how bad the smell is so I'm gonna have to do something illegal. I don't want to. I actually, I'm about to have to. You gonna have to get over, baby. And you have to let me over. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate all you motherfuckers. Bitch, you will be okay. People is so rude. If you see somebody trying to get over, and you see them trying to get over at the last minute, what good does it do you to try to blow your be upset with them i made a mistake it's okay just let me over i put on my signal so it's not like i cut you off you knew that i was trying to get over you could have just let me get over but you want to be difficult so now you blowing your horn and you mad when i still got over it'd be crazy but i'm gonna get up off of here before i get in the accident with some y'all i'm not too good at mostly tasking clearly so this is the order pickup thing. Oh, I think it's somebody. Oh, this dope. Oh no, it's not nobody. Okay, so how do I? Oh man, go to order pickup. Oh, you gotta scan your thing right here. Oh shit. A freaking easy 
order pickup system. I don't know what Menards is talking about right now. Scan and enter. It's like you got to come through. Oh, child. Thank you. Proceed to the order pickup area. What? What are you talking about? Okay. You say, child. Let me show y'all. They got me literally like driving through the back where they keep their lumber and stuff. And I'm just trying to see where do I go I did see one sign that said order pick up but okay I think I go right here let's see let's see it say order pick up parking well what type of parking is this call let me call these people and see if they're gonna come out, child. I don't know. I don't have no problem going in. Let me cut off these windshield wipers. That's bogus. Okay, what's the number? Don't tell me this the number that I've been calling. Five, three, four. Okay, this is a different number. Because I was calling while I was in the house to try to get them to clarify to me how the process worked, and nobody was answering. Hi, I'm outside. I'm um, waiting to pick up my order. Am I supposed to come inside? If you want to, you can come inside if you want to stay outside. No, I don't want to come inside. <laughs> Are you are you all able to bring it out? Uh, yeah, I can bring it out. Okay, thank you so much. Um, oh. What's the order number? Well, that was easy enough, but it ain't as simple as Target though. Like, why everybody just didn't copy Target and do what they did? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I'm about to eat. Like I said, I think I'm about to eat Priscilla, so I might as well just take my little tail back on to the house. Well, back by the house, cause I hate eating fast food too. Y'all look, my hand is shaking. Y'all see that? I be so scared. I hope I don't. I hope that's just like from hunger. But I tend to like shake like that a lot. I pray I don't end up having Parkinson's Parkinson's disease when I get older. I just actually found out what Parkinson's is for real, and I was like, oh my god. I hope I don't have that because like it's just I don't, I don't know if y'all can tell but I'm not doing that that's just my hand shaking but it's probably just because I have low energy but that should be happening um even when my energy ain't low my god don't go on hand be shaking so I gotta go back to my grandma house one of these days y'all because she had me order her some stuff from um Amazon some little furniture pieces or whatever and they get in delivered so I'm gonna have to go back and help her um open up her packages and put everything together so I don't know when I'm gonna do that my cousin live with her I asked him can he do it he's like 20 some. my cousin 20 some. I said ask him to put it together she saw some he don't know the man basically he ain't um he ain't handyman savvy, so he don't know the first thing about it. So I'm probably have to go. I might bring Quiz with me. Quiz is a really good handyman. He can um, he can put a lot of things together and stuff like that. So I might bring him with me, but I might not, cause it should be easy. Like I should be able to do it. Oh yeah, this motherfucker didn't want to bring my shit. Mhm. Mm I can see you. Hi. Thank you. Thank Have a nice you. Day. You too. All right, Menards, thank you for not forcing me to get out of my car. I'm going to show y'all what I got when I get up in the house. Let me look, though, and make sure it's everything. Because I got some for these motherfucking flies. Ass! I told Quiz <laughs> before I left out the house, it was a, um, a fly all up in his face. 
Yep, I got it. It was a fly like flying by him. Fuck with him. I said, don't don't you worry, I got some for them. They don't even know it. They don't even know what's about to hit them, baby. Y'all about to die today. Now, how you get up out of here like this wasn't a smart idea, Menards. But I'm gonna just go out the way I came in. This is the area that I used to work in when I worked at Lowe's too. I used to work in the lumber area, which is, you know, just all the wood and stuff. And this is the area where they got their water pickup from. All right, y'all, I'm gonna um, go to Patillo's, get my food, and I'm gonna see y'all when I get back to the crib. All right, y'all, I'm looking for Patillo's. But I ain't seeing them though. Where is Priscilla's? I know Priscilla's is like, oh, you know what? I might, I might be at the wrong location. Where is this Priscilla's? Yeah, that's Priscilla's. Okay. If you know what Priscilla's is, normally the line be so freaking long, but the line is non existent at this point. So I was like, that can't be Priscilla's, but it is. It is, it is. I'm so happy it's not a lot of people here today. You know there ain't a lot of people at Pertillo's when the people not standing outside to take your order and you can take your order at the um, thing. Because normally it's always people standing outside to take the order. So I'm going to get me in queer school, but I just wanted to come chat with y'all too because I wasn't done talking. I had more I wanted to say. Which was that um, my brothers are coming over to my house this weekend. I have to go pick my brothers up on Friday. They're going to come over and spend some time with Quiz. And, um, yeah, with me and Quiz, actually. I'm pat, I'm due. I'm due for an oil change. 3.15. Yeah, that passed. Let me see if I hit my mouse, though. How you see 50? Ooh. Ooh, yes, baby. I gotta tell Quiz. We over the miles. We 2,000 miles. We 2,000 miles. Yes, we 2,000 miles over. I was supposed to take my car on March 15th at 51,000 miles, but we at 53. Let me call him right quick because I forget. Well, where we gonna go? I know you ain't gonna go back to the place that you did and got to do that. Out here. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. But um, yeah. And so I need to go give me a new robe from Target. I want to get a pink robe, and I want to film my get ready with me video this weekend. So I just want a pink robe. As y'all can tell, I've been loving pink lately. I think pink is like my favorite color. I don't know if it's because I'm on my feminine journey. Or has the pink just really been hitting? But I just feel like pink is just so girly and pretty. Yeah, right. so I'm gonna get a pink. I'm gonna try to get a pink robe from Target this weekend. Um, and what else I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about? It was something else that I wanted to come talk to y'all about. Oh, I ordered me a um daily devotional book too. That's what I wanted to tell y'all. I have been looking for me a daily devotional book because you know while I'm on my feminine journey. I also want to get closer to God and just incorporate him into my daily life a little bit more. And so I felt like the best way for me to do that was to get a daily devotional. I'm not going to read the Bible. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I am not going to read the Bible. I've tried reading the Bible several times and that just ain't my speed. That ain't my type of uh, reading. <laughs> that ain't my type of reading. So I figured a daily devotional. Hold on a minute. What am I for? But, um... Yeah, I know I'm not gonna read the Bible, so it's just like I would rather um I would rather get a daily devotional. And I just feel like a daily devotional, I don't know, I just feel like that's better because I can just read it every day and you know what I'm saying? So and you never know, like the daily devotional may hit home that day. Like it may give you the answer that you're looking for on that specific day. So I actually the people on my Instagram, I asked the girls and my close friends first, do they have any daily devotionals that they would recommend? But them hoes don't know nothing about the Lord. So they didn't give me no, literally nobody responded. Granted, it's only like 10 people in my close friends, but nobody responded. So I'm like, damn, I gotta put this public because them hoes don't know about God. 
So I posted on my regular story and this girl wrote me one um, by Iyana Van Zandt. So I ordered that one. It seemed really good. Iyana is black. So, you know, we always want to support our people of color, women of color. So I ordered it and it looked good. And when I went to it on Amazon, the reviews were, I think she had like 4.5 stars out of 4.5 out of 5 stars. So really good reviews. Everybody was saying they loved it. Everybody was saying they loved it so much. So I was like, okay, let me get that. And um, yeah. Oh, I wish people would come to work with some enthusiasm about themselves. But you know, I know what it's like. I used to work at Cobra, so I just try to be patient, child. But she was definitely um monotone. She was over me, but I was over her too. But somebody gotta be the bigger person, right? Bacon cheese, burger, yep, she got it right. Mom, what the fuck? She was looking all stupid in the face. Leah, y'all, so got some things to do this weekend. I don't know how long the vlog gonna be, but hopefully it is long. Hopefully it is long, because y'all like them long. Yeah, I want that one up one living room. This is what I got, y'all. They got the weirdest order pickup system. I got these. And I don't know. You gonna set it up, babe? Yeah. It just say it's supposed to kill flies. I don't know. Oh, they got glue mm -hmm. Place when it is free place when it's fully covered with mm -hmm. bugs. So this is what it look like. I guess you cut it on and it attract. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I guess they get stuck to the glue when you change it. I was thinking we should put it over that back balcony. But you can set it up right here if you want to And then I got these for the kitchen area. I'm going to put one like right here on this counter. And um... I got two of them. What do you think you should put this one in? I don't know. Let me this in the master. And then I also got these just because, just to keep them out the window too. So I'm gonna put these in. I don't know. I don't know if I should put, I don't think we need one on the, in the guest room window. What you think? Just put one in this window and our window in the room. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So yeah, that's what we got, y'all. These flies ain't finna know what hit them. So far, so good, y'all, with the, um, what I call that? With the fly stuff, I ain't seen, we ain't seen a fly in sight. We ain't seen nothing since I put that stuff down. But what's crazy is we ain't seen the fly in sight. But the stuff is supposed to, one of the things was supposed to like actually catch the flies and it's supposed to fall in the bottom. And then, why do my wig, you know what, I ain't got time for this. And then the other one um was just supposed to, yeah, the fly was supposed to fall in the liquid. And then the other one, the flies is supposed to stick to the bottom. And... Neither one of them got any flies, but we ain't been seeing no flies. So I'm trying to figure out, was them flies playing with me the whole time? Like, did them flies know they shouldn't have been in my house? And now that I got fly stuff, now they want to steer clear of my house? Is that what was going on? Because it's giving me that's what that's what was going on. Because I want to see the flies. I want to see them. I want to <laughs> I want to see them stuck on the um sticky pad. And I want to see them up in that liquid because that's what I paid for, right? I want to see it work. I'm happy they gone. Why my hair, why was my hair, why do my hair got this lump? Oh, I just had it. I'm like, I forgot I just had a clip in my hair. I was say, what in the world? I just had a clip. I'm about to clean my bathroom. Finally, I've been procrastinating, child. I was just up in there telling Quiz like, you know, you know how much money I want? <laughs> He just instantly started laughing, but for real, like, I don't need to be filthy rich. I don't need to be buying yachts. I mean, it's nice. It's nice, but, you know, I want to plant the seeds so my kids can buy the yachts and stuff. I just need to be able to have cleanness come to my house. That's how well off I want to be. 
to the point where I have cleaners coming to clean. Not regularly either. I don't need them to clean regularly. I still clean my own home. Like I have no problem doing that. But sometimes I just want to be like, like today when I'm just super tired. I just wish I could be like, babe, you know what? Let's just call the cleaners. <laughs> Let's call the cleaners tomorrow. You know, I'm tired. It's been a long week. Let's just call the cleaners. I'll call whoever up. And yeah, I'll ask her can she come in tomorrow. And I want me and her to have a relationship because she my regular cleaning lady. But she don't clean regularly though. You feel me? She's just the one that I go to every time I need my house clean. I say like once a month I need to have a cleaning some cleaning people come. And that's not far off. Like that's not asking for a whole lot. Like I can afford I can afford that now if I really wanted to, but what the fuck I look like getting a cleaner right now? It's better things. <laughs> oh, you can see my cap coming through. It's better things I could be on spending my money on than to be trying to give me a cleaner. Now that's that's what you call that is a prime example of living above your means. Because just because you can afford to do it don't mean that you should. Well, not afford, just because you can pay to do it doesn't mean that you should. Because just because you can pay to do it doesn't necessarily mean you can afford it. Hmm. But I'm about to put my teeth whiteness on, y'all. Before I clean my bathroom, I gotta secure the lace because she gotta last me. Today, Wednesday, she gotta last me till at least on um, Sunday. At least Easter Sunday, baby. Because I gotta film this weekend. And I don't have no intentions on doing anything else to my head. How would y'all feel if I start uh, doing hair reviews on my channel again? I used to do them a very long time ago. See, I'm one of them YouTubers. I've been around for a long time. But I've never been consistent. That's my problem. I done been here through every, pretty much every trend, every, everything. I done been a YouTuber. I've been doing YouTube since 2014, like January 2014, so... Oh, this is so uneven, but, you know, we just got to make it work because I'm not about to um, take it down. But, yeah, I've been a YouTuber since January 2014, so I've been here through a, a lot of the ups and downs, baby. I know the platform, and I know many of the people on it who occupy the space that I occupy. Or some of them don't even have to occupy the same type of space that I occupy. Some people, oh, child, look at this. Y'all sitting up here watching me do this and y'all ain't going to tell me, child. Some people don't even have to occupy the same space that I occupy. And when I say that, I mean bloggers and uh, beauty and hair and makeup and fashion. Like, I follow people who are just the best at what they do. Like, they just the best at what they do. Like, this guy, um, he has a YouTube channel. Where he goes and looks at some of the like richest houses in the world, or mo not richest, most expensive homes in the world, and he gives tours or whatever. Been following him for years, um, but I'm late though. I just found out about Mr. Beast recently, so I'm talking all that like I just know everybody, huh? huh which I really don't, but I probably heard of just about everybody who is great at what they do on this platform. I probably have heard of them. But a more recent one who I didn't hear about, which I would have thought that I did, because he's so great, is Mr. Beast. He new to me. But I've been on the platform for a long time. And I've been here when hair reviews was popping, makeup was popping. I been here, little old me. I didn't participate in a lot of things. But, again, my consistency has killed me. <laughs> so, here we are. But, um... I say that to say I, want, I think I'm going to do hair reviews. I think I'm going to do some hair reviews because I'm not selling hair no more. So, nothing is stopping me from doing the reviews. And I could always go back and sell hair if I want to. Doing the reviews don't stop me from selling hair. But do I really want to sell hair again? Probably not. I don't think I want to do that. So, I might as well start doing hair reviews. I just haven't closed my website out because I don't know. I might want to get like into cosmetic products or I might want to 
use it to sell my clothes. Like I do have clothes posted on there that um I'm I guess trying to sell. I ain't really trying to sell them because. I ain't actually trying to sell them. Oh, but I still do lashes too, and I do love lashes. I that was my first look, but well, that wasn't my first business because I started doing makeup first. But one of my first, and I really do love lashes, so I might want to continue that in the near future. Who knows? But I don't. I know I for sure don't want to do hair, so I can. Um, so I take your hair reviews. So do y'all want hair reviews? I know y'all be asking me to show y'all how I do my hair. I don't really like to show y'all because I'm not that good at it. Like. Me and Quiz, we was just watching a YouTube video um together up in the living room. We was watching this girl install her wig, do her hair review, basically. And I just watch her because she good at what she do. And I just like watching people to learn. Even if I'm not trying to learn something in that moment, I'm a visual person. So me just watching them, I can kind of learn like that. And um, what about that was I going to say? Yeah, I be losing my train of thought. Jesus, I hope I don't have Alzheimer's when I get old. Cause, but if I do, I wouldn't be surprised. I forget what I'm gonna say all the time. I don't remember. I have not been wearing my retainer like I should, y'all. I ought to be ashamed of myself. And how much I, ooh, I was watching some YouTube videos, y'all. I found some more skin products, so I didn't add a lot of skin products to my list, and all of them are not expensive. I didn't add some really affordable ones, so I am so excited. I got a whole little list. My phone not in here, but I got a whole little list of skin products, and I'm gonna narrow them down because I think I got like two moisturizers, I got like two toners, so I'm gonna compare and contrast everything I got and see what I want to rock out with. The way I was able to compile my list is I just been watching other people blogs and videos, and if they mention some skincare products, I write it down so that I can compare and contrast everything. And um, yeah. I really be on YouTube, y'all. Like, I really, really do. I really watch other people's videos. Because that's how I learn. Like, I learn through watching. I just said that. Through watching other people. So, by me watching other content creators, I pick up on little stuff. Like, oh, I want to incorporate that. Oh, I want to do, 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 And then sometimes, like, I, like, cut my channel on up on the TV and in the room. And I, like, have my video as one of the videos I just watched. But it'll be other people who I'm subscribed to. So, it'll only show six of us at a time, though. And I look at my thumbnail compared to this to see, like, in my own part, you know, I try to compare myself against the people who, not compare myself, but you feel me if you understand, y'all know what I'm saying. I try to see if I'm on par with my competition, even though I'm my only competition. But if you know, you know. So, yeah, let me stop talking and with these teeth whiteness on, y'all. I do not like doing this. I promise you, I promise you, I do not like putting these teeth whiteness on, child. I don't like it. I used to have a teeth whitening kit, but I um threw it away or something. I honestly don't even remember. But let me go. Cause that's a different video. And I don't want to get my footage mixed up. Yeah. This is what they look like. I'm sure I'll probably show them to y'all. 